Hi everyone, Anthony Morganti here. Today I only have time to do a very short video. Those of you that know me know that I live in Buffalo, New York. And if you've been paying attention to the National Weather Service, you know that Buffalo and Western New York have been hit with a tremendous snowstorm. It's been snowing pretty much off and on since Thursday. Where I happen to live, we have over five feet of snow and a plow hasn't been down our street yet, so we're effectively snowed in. Overnight, it snowed a little bit more, probably another six to eight inches, so I have to get out there and do some shoveling. So before I do that, I'm going to do this very quick video. It's a Photoshop video, and you may remember a week or so ago, I did a Photoshop video demonstrating how to extract a color grade from one image and apply it to another image. Specifically, I used this still image from the movie Birdman and we extracted the color grade from it and we applied it to another image. Now that was a multi-step process and a little bit involved. There's actually a faster way to do it. Now whether or not it's better, I don't know. I suspect on some images it may work better or just as good, but on other images it may not work as good and you need to do that other method I demonstrated. And by the way, I'll have that video linked in the description below this video. So today we're going to extract the color grade from this image and apply it to this image. Now, before I start, I have this image over here. You can see there's a background layer. I'm just gonna duplicate that by hitting Command J on my Mac, Control J on, our, on a PC. We're gonna apply the color grade to that top layer. Now, to use or to apply the color grade, we're going to use a neural filter. Go up to Filter, down to Neural Filters, and the specific filter we want to use is still in beta. So when it actually is available, it may look or act a bit differently. It's right here, it's called color transfer, and you can see it says beta. Just turn that on. Now go up here, and we're not gonna use a preset, click on custom, and in this drop down, now because I have that Birdman image opened in Photoshop in another tab, it appears here. There it is right there. We're gonna click on that, and you'll see that it takes a second, you can see at the bottom it says processing, and it applied it. Now you have a couple options here. First of all, the color space. By default, it's going to use lab. You could try RGB, but my experimentations with this virtual filter showed that lab really didn't change it too much. Um, I'm going to stay with, or RGB didn't change it that much. I'm going to stay with lab. But what you may find when you're using lab, you'll have this check box, preserve luminance. Check that, and you'll see that it's a little more subtle and maybe a little more realistic. Now you do have some sliders here. We could go down and maybe increase the saturation a little bit. And you remember every time you move a slider, it's, you'll see at the bottom, it's going to be processing. Let's add a little more color strength. You can see processing. So it may take a little bit of time, depending on the speed of your computer, for it to actually apply these adjustments you do with these sliders. But I think that looks pretty good because I want more of a subtle look. I don't want something really blue. <laughs> Let's put it that way. So we're going to go OK. And when you do this, it's going to come with a selection. See how the entire image is selected? So you could get rid of those marching ants by hitting Command or Control D on your computer to get rid of those marching ants. So there's before and there's after. See a little bit more of a subtle color grade similar to the Birdman color grade. You can see there's Birdman and there is our color grade. There's before and there's after. So there is a faster way to copy the color grading from one image and apply it to another image. I'm going to have to get out there and do some more shoveling and luckily I still have a lot of gas uh, for my snowblower so I'm good to go there. We have a lot of food in the house so we're good to go there. Um, but we still want to get out and get out of the house so hopefully that happens very soon. Thank you everyone who watches my videos. I really do appreciate it. Talk to you guys soon.